there everybody i hope that you are having a good day i'm working again in my um in my smash book uh glue book encyclopedia ring bound journal um i'll show it to you in case you missed the video about it it looks like this um my friend miss g sent me uh miss r sent me uh, a, a, several of these covers for books and so I thought well you know I'm just going to make myself something today and I just made myself a um, glue book smash book ring down thingy and I wanted to uh, to do a page for you guys today my idea is to take this image that I cut from a magazine and to kind of incorporate it into this Colleen Moore castle piece Colleen Moore was a um she was a 30s film star, but she is very well known for her um, her dollhouses, which were absolutely exquisite. So I kind of thought that we would meld these two things together, something medieval, something modern, and then uh, kind of pick up on this is an A page from... An encyclopedia has ana anodizing, which is a very cool technique. Uh, anointing of the sick, sick anorexia nervosa. This is what my uncle died of many, many years ago, a long time ago, oh, 40 years. Uh, he died of anorexia nervosa before anybody even knew what that thing was, what that illness was. Uh, and St. Anselm, which I thought was a, a cool little thing here. I'm not going to use the whole page. I'm just going to use certain images from the page and then kind of do a little bit of layering, but still keep this page intact as much as possible. What I want to do first is to kind of give this page a bit of a whitewash. And so I'll show you kind of what I'm going to do here. I've got some paint. And I'm just going to just take just a tiny bit of paint and I have a, a wet Big Daddy brush. My daddy gave me this brush a long time ago and just kind of white wash the page so I can still read what is under it because I love all of these. I love the anodizing concept. I love pictures of the saints. It's cool that it has the anointing of the sick on it and the little item about anorexia nervosa. I said that really cheerfully. It's not cheerful at all. So just do a little whitewashing here. And then I, sorry, my tape tool is not plugged in. Hold on just a second. And just dry this a bit. It did kind of start to curl when I did the whitewashing technique. You never know what old paper is going to do. I mean, you know, sometimes it curls, sometimes it comes apart, um, sometimes it does really, really, really great. <laughs> so there we go. I think I'm going to do the same thing with this particular magazine image. I'm going to kind of tamp down the background a little bit, but not too much. Just kind of tamp it down just a little bit. And I'm not, like I said a while ago, I'm not going to use the whole page. And we'll just tamp it down just a tad and see how that works out for us. Again, you know, I'm getting some curling that's all right because we're going to go back and hit this with our heat tool i'm just giving it a little bit of oomph before i start working with it there we go
Okay. All right, now we're ready to start kind of putting some things together. If you missed the video about how I process a magazine, I'll put a link so you can see how I do this. I am not a fan of keeping a whole lot of images. I like to clip images and then I like to go ahead and use them. I'm going to pop this page out. Another, you know, beauty. <laughs> A ringbound beauty. And work with it right here because I do want to cover the holes. Here. I want to use this here. And I want to cover the holes that are right there. So let's go ahead and take a bit of Mod Podge. And put that on here. I don't want to cover up the picture of the saint. Just want to kind of put this on here just to give that page a bit of a um, so it doesn't come apart it doesn't pull like the um, the page in the last video I did just pulled right out of the book but it's because it was old 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 paper okay Okay, now I want to start using the rest of this imagery. Not all of it, just pieces and parts. So I think we'll start um, start here. I, of course, do you want to use this beautiful lady intact because she will be next to, she looks very princess-like to me, and she'll be next to the page with the Colleen Moore Castle dollhouse. I'll try and find a link to Colleen Moore. I had never heard of her until someone gave me that book. And her dollhouses are freaking amazing. Okay. I think the most important part of this page for me is the mention of anorexia. When my uncle passed away, he was 30 and I was 20. He was my biggest art influence and he was much more like my brother than than um, an uncle I soon lived like four houses up from me when I was growing up so I was at my grandma's a lot around my uncles and aunties I love them they are all gone now. Okay. I like the placement of that. It's good. This is not one to stick. There we go. Okay. And then I want to put her right here. Anorexia nervosa was thought to be, it was thought that only girls got anorexia. It's an eating disorder. I said more than eating, but it manifests itself in slow starvation. Okay, I like that. 
um, we're going to save this. I thought about putting a couple more pieces on here, but I think no. We're going to draw this and then trim it up and then reinsert it back into the book. I'm thinking while we have this going here, I'm going to do a little um, crackling technique just because I have some white paint and glue out here at the same time. So I think we might just, we might crackle right here. So I'm putting down a generous layer of glue. And then I'm taking a draw brush, or as dry as I can get it right now. I'm going to smear that glue right here, okay? That's a, a generous layer of glue. And then I'm going to brush this way. I'm going to brush this way. Do some downward strokes here. And then I am... I'll put some paint over that. This and this. And we'll just crackle right there. Just just because I had all this stuff out to do it with. See it starting to crackle right there. It also will bubble as well. Can you see that? You can see the bubbles and the striation kind of going down this way. It didn't crackle as good as usual, but hey, we had to try because we had our stuff out. Okay, I am going to put this back into my book. I'm going to punch the holes and then I will reinsert it into um, my book. Let's just spread this out while we're here so we did not waste that paint still got a lot of curling on this it's okay um, I'm not really fussed by curling but if you are you may want to put like another sheet under here but this is my book you know I'm doing what I want with it it makes me feel good I'm not being very picky with it I think these colors are gonna look so pretty next to each other. I'll grab my crocodile. Punch, re-punch my holes. I do need to do a bit of trimming here. There we go. All right. Man, I love a ring bound journal. I love it. Put this right back in here. Oh my goodness, she really does look really pretty beside the um, 
I saw the calling more piece. I'm going to turn the lights off so you can not have the glare. <laughs> she looks very, um, um, she looks very ethereal over there. Thank you guys for hanging out with me, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.